What is going on guys, Sterling here, and in this video we're gonna take a look at the handsome checkout order detail settings. So this will allow you to add an order details box to your checkout page on any template, or you can hide your order total. So we'll take a look at both these and we'll see what they look like on the front end. So let's jump right into this. We're gonna to come to handsome checkout. We're gonna open up all of our checkouts and then we're gonna scroll down to the checkout we wanna edit. So we're gonna edit the My Handsome Checkout. Let's open this guy up and then here you can see are my settings. So I just have a hoodie and a beanie and let's add one more product in there. We're gonna say t-shirt. So I'm gonna add a t-shirt in there as well. So we have three products that are being displayed on this, uh, on this checkout. Let's update. And then if I scroll down, you can see that we have our uh, variations and quantity options enabled and we have simple products. What this means is it's basically gonna allow people to choose between our three simple products we have added here. So if you're gonna offer three different products and you wanted people to be able to select one of those, that's the setup we have right now. So, and we are using, let's go to the marketing pro template. So we'll choose the marketing pro template. And then we have our basic field information and then you can see if we scroll all the way down, actually above, so below our field options here, we have our order detail settings. Now let's update and take a look real quick at what this looks like before we uh, add that order detail box in. And let's refresh. And here you can see we have the option to swap between our three products like I mentioned. And we do have an order total down here. So it shows us that we are going to pay $52 now if I select, let's say I'm gonna select the beanie, which is $18, but I scroll down, you can see that I'm being charged $28. So it's a little bit confusing in this specific example. Why is my beanie charging me an extra $10? This is where the order details can come into play. So if I scroll down once again, and I select show order details, I'm gonna check this box and update, and then we'll come back to the front end and refresh. Now I'm actually gonna get a readout of everything that is in my cart. So you can see that I have a beanie added, and then I'm being charged shipping a flat rate of $10 to ship my beanie. So that is why I'm being charged $28. So you can see if you have shipping and if you have maybe tax and other costs that you are not spelling out in your description, then you're probably gonna need to show those in some other way so that people know exactly why they're being charged what they're being charged. Now this is my order total box here at the bottom. I can remove that order total box because it's kind of redundant. I have my total being shown here and then I have my total being shown here below. So if I come back to my settings and I scroll down to my field options and find the hide order total section, I can hide my order total box and then I can update. And now that is hidden there. My total is displayed in my order details box. I don't need to display it in two places. Now if I uncheck my order details, so I'm not going to be displaying my order details and I show my order total, this would work really well if you're selling an e-product that's not gonna have shipping or tax applied to it because they're gonna see the exact dollar amount or you could spell out that you, what your shipping costs are over here to the side or I'm gonna give you guys another solution that's even better. I'm gonna make a quick edit to my checkout. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna re remove my beanie and remove my t-shirt and then I'm gonna come down to my variation quantity options and I'm going to select instead of simple products, I'm gonna select simple vari or simple quantities. I basically set this up so they can buy one hoodie at $25, they can buy two hoodies and get one free for $50, or they can buy a box of 20 shirts for $450. And you can see that my quantities are going to be updated here and then I have my default set to three. So I have this set up. This is going to be kind of a more visual checkout where people are gonna be selecting the different items and it's gonna actually update their checkout live. So uh, we definitely would wanna have this represented. We could always uh, add the order details and we'll take a look at what that would look like. So let's go back to the My Handsome Checkout, we'll refresh. And then here you can see is my order details below. If I select one, it's gonna change my, uh, my checkout to 25. If I select uh, the 20 shirts, it's gonna change it to 450, and then of course apply my shipping. Now, if I don't want to use the order details on my checkout, so let's scroll down and turn those off, we can always use, and if we're gonna kinda have a more advanced checkout where people are gonna be updating settings and choosing between different quantities or choosing between different products, um, you're gonna select the multi-product template. And the reason why we would select the multi-product template is because it's just designed for this kind of a checkout. If we come and refresh, you're gonna see that I'm gonna have a nice readout over here to the right of exactly what's added in my cart. So you can see I have three hoodies and it's charged $50 for these hoodies. So if I go to my next step and I select a different box, 
So I'm gonna select a box of 20. You can see my quantity was updated to 20 and my order total and my cart has updated over here to the right. And then same thing if I swap to one, you can see I'm getting an exact readout of what I'm going to be paying and it does display shipping and tax as well, which is really handy. I hope this video was helpful. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment, throw a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. If you wanna learn about any of our products that we create, you can go and click on the links in the description below. We create, we have an upsell plugin called One Click Upsell. We have a handsome checkout, which helps you convert your WooCommerce checkout uh, into you know single checkout pages for WooCommerce and it's beautiful. And if you have any other questions, be sure to let us know and I will see you guys in the next video.